So the keynote is titled, Keep Betting on JavaScript, and there's sort of an implicit question mark there, like JavaScript has been a good bet for the last 24, almost 25 years, but will it continue to be a good bet? What are the decisions that we're making now that are gonna impact the way web development is done five, 10, 15, 25 years from now? And are those decisions really the right decision? It seems right in the moment, but just because we can do something, does that mean that we should be doing it? So I'm trying to ask these questions, get other people to ask the questions about the bets that we're making on web technology. I think so. I had a lot of people coming up to me afterwards and thanking me for that, asking for photos, that sort of thing. There were a lot of tweets that went out as well, which is good to see that people were paying attention. They were awake that early in the morning, which is a good sign. So yeah, it seems like it stirs up um, inspiration and also people you know, thinking about things. Basically, my goal is not for everyone to agree with me, but for them to ask those questions and to wrestle with those things. And it seems like it stirred people to action to be thinking about that, which I think set a good tone for the rest of the conference day. People have been thinking about and talking about these things as they've listened to all the other sessions. Yeah, actually, so the, the talk, one of the talks that I thought was most interesting is very geeky because I'm into functional programming, but I really enjoyed Andre Stoltz's talk on lenses because I didn't really know what a lens was until last night at the speaker dinner and he was talking about it and I was like, oh, that sounds so cool and I really wanted to be there for his talk. Uh, I found that to be very insightful. The terms that I'm usually kind of intimidated by in functional programming, he made them seem really straightforward. So I, I thought that was an excellent talk. I was really glad to watch it. Well, I think the vibe can be defined by the fact that we're in a church. It sort of has this gravitas about it. When you walk in, you feel like we're here to hear some really inspirational and profound messages that hopefully change the way that we approach things that we do in our industry. And uh, so I'm, I'm thrilled to have been part of it. It's been a fantastic event.